Ah, Shopify development. Truly the IKEA furniture of web development. Shopify documentation or IKEA instructions both seem to come from the same school of thought. If you get it right on the first try, we've obviously made it too easy. The IKEA Allen wrench is to furniture assembly what that one piece of code you copied from a forum at 3 a.m. is to your Shopify site. You're not entirely sure it's the right fit, but hey. Other perks of the Shopify development experience include, but are not limited to, early onset carpal tunnel and being able to cosplay Bavarian vampires at the drop of a hat, bloodshot eyes, ghostly pale complexion, and all. If you're on the edge of your seat, wondering where you too can sign up, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to cover exactly how to break into the Shopify development space in 2023 from the perspective of someone who who's been doing this for a few years. First things first, let's talk about the holy trinity of web development, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. These are the underlying technologies of every website you visit, and Shopify sites are no exception. So having a solid grasp of their fundamentals will be important. As to how I'd go about learning them as a complete beginner, there are some great resources available online. Boot camps like The Odin Project, my personal favorite, or Free Code Camp. Or you could just watch a few tutorials here on YouTube and start throwing together some static sites. Once you have a solid understanding of the fundamentals, you can move on to learning Liquid. Liquid is Shopify's templating language, which is the equivalent of playing HTML Mad Libs with the least inventive partner ever, your store's data. Just fill in the blanks and voila, out pops a web page. Best way to learn Liquid is to read through Shopify's own documentation. I was joking earlier when I said Shopify's documentation sucks. It's actually pretty great as far as documentation goes. The final piece of the proverbial puzzle is knowing the Shopify admin like the back of your hand. As a Shopify developer, you're going to be spending about as much time with this bad boy as you do with your significant other, so best get comfy. Now you should have a pretty good handle on the three pieces of the puzzle that go into Shopify front-end development, but putting them together is a different story. At this point, you're going to want to create your own Shopify store on Shopify's basic plan or create a partner account and a development store, which should be free. Once you've got that set up, get started by adding one of Shopify's free themes to your site. Open up the code editor and let's talk about theme architecture. You'll notice several different folders here. First, we have your theme's assets directory. This houses the assets needed to run your theme, like JavaScript and CSS files. Next, we have layout, which includes all of your site's well, layout files. The main one to pay attention to here is theme.liquid. The HTML skeleton in this file wraps the content on pretty much every page of your site. After that, let's cover the locales folder. These files allow theme developers to include translations for theme settings for merchants with stores and languages other than English. Moving on, we have sections, containing the code from the major section blocks that, as of Online Store 2.0, can be included in any template on your store. Snippets is our penultimate folder, and contains pieces of HTML, CSS, or JavaScript that you want to reuse across your store. Finally, the templates folder, which houses all the data for the templates for the many different kinds of locations on your store. For the most part, you won't be editing these directly, and instead we'll modify them through the admin customizer. Alright, I know that was a lot, but that should get you started with front-end Shopify development. If you want to stay tuned for my revamped Shopify Liquid course, which is going to go into much more detail about both theme structure and the Liquid coding language, subscribe. Otherwise, this has been the Shopify Front-end Developer's Guide. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.